The California condor, the largest bird in North America, is making a comeback from the brink of extinction. In the early 1980s, there were only 22 left in the world. So scientists set out to capture the remaining birds and create a breeding program. Joy Benedict got a behind-the-scenes look at how the L.A. Zoo recently discovered a new technique that's produced soaring results. It is a moment decades in the making. There he goes. As young California condors get their first glimpse of the open sky from inside this flight pen at the Bitter Creek National Wildlife Refuge, two hours north of Los Angeles, it's their final stop before freedom. Mike Clark is the condor keeper at the Los Angeles Zoo. You're letting your kids go into the wild, you know, you let them go into the big city, but you have to let them go. That's the purpose of it. This is a California native bird. This belongs right in our backyard. Clark has been a key part of the condor recovery program for 30 years. And this year, it hatched one heck of a milestone. Bird number 1,000 reared his head inside a rocky cliff at Zion National Park. With a nine and a half foot wingspan, it is the largest bird in North America. Yet few have ever seen one. In 1982, there were 22 birds in the wild. And by 84, that breeding population had dropped to nine. Seemingly destined for extinction, biologists captured all surviving birds and the breeding program at the LA Zoo was formed. In the very beginning, since there were so few birds, we were really careful. We had every, everyone was on pins and needles. You know, we, every egg that hatched was worth its weight in gold. At that time, keepers used hand puppets to raise them, but the chicks became too comfortable with humans. Their curiosity is almost greater than their fear. So the keepers backed off. Now 43 cameras keep watch over more than two dozen birds. In the wild, condors might raise one chick every couple years. But here, when a condor lays an egg, keepers take it, prompting the bird to lay another. So Clark tried something never done before. This is the adult female that reared these two chicks. He wanted to know if a parent would foster more than one chick, so he approached a bird who knew him well. And here is a sexually mature bird that's been breeding for years and years and years, raised tons of chicks with another bird. She sort of kind of got attached to me because I was the only one that she was interacting so with. So she fell in love with you? Yes, and I her. <laughs> It was a wild success, and this year, for the first time ever, the chicks are all being raised in pairs. The zoo spends more than half a million dollars a year trying to save this species, but the only condor visitors may see is Dolly, who arrived with a damaged wing they couldn't repair. So you guys spend all this money on the California condor, but you don't have a condor exhibit at the zoo. Yeah. How come? Zoos are changing. Zoos have gone from a place where you go to see animals to a place that does conservation locally and abroad. And that brings us back to this fall day. Four birds hatched last year are on the move. Off to their new home in the mountains where wild birds perch nearby, but so does danger. Just hoping that you prepare them to survive. Since the recovery program began, the condor only has a 50% survival rate. It's still threatened by hunting, lead poisoning, and hazards like power lines. We call it the e-perch, the electric perch. And if the birds land on it, they get a little shock and they avoid it. Clark is training the birds to stay away, but most of the juveniles already do because they're watching an older, wiser bird, a mentor placed with them. The mentor already knows about the pole, never uses it. None of them even try it. So that tells you how important the mentor is. And as a new flock is tagged and prepped for release, the keepers are hopeful. Can you imagine walking out in your backyard and seeing a bird with a nine and a half foot wingspan sitting on your fence post? A dream that every year gets closer to home as the lessons learned give this shadowy feathered flyer a chance to not only soar, but survive. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Joy Benedict, Los Angeles. Awesome. I remember when the condor was near extinction. I grew up in California. Right. And it was, it was that time you just feared that we were all going up and out.
Well, they're back. They're the back. You're, 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 we're still you're, here. We're, we're still here. The condors are there. They really are magnificent. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Nine-foot wingspan. Crazy. Yeah.